so much for choosing to join us. I'm Scott Gross. In today's Decision 2024 report, public servants in Yuma are asking voters for a bump in pay. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez shares what the elected officials are asking for and how long it's been since they've had a raise. While the times have changed and inflation is stretching the dollar, one thing that hasn't changed in decades is the wages of Yuma's mayor and council members. But Prop 425 could change that. I think we should have more flexibility uh, and more opportunity for, for a variety of people to run for office. Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols says it's more than the money. So it's not really about that. This is about um, just valuing people's time, but also not just for today, but into the future. Out of the 25 largest cities in Arizona, Yuma ranks near the bottom at 22nd when it comes to salaries for the mayor. Should the proposition pass, public servant wages in Yuma would still be below average. But it's about keeping our city kind of up to date, uh, make sure that we're keeping pace. So Should the proposition pass, public servant wages in Yuma would still fall below average. According to ZipRecruiter, the average salary for mayors in Arizona is about $54,000 and the national average is around $66,000. In contrast, Mayor Doug Nichols' yearly salary is $12,000 and it would be bumped up to $45,000 a year. City Council members currently receive $3,600 and if the proposition passes, that number would swell up to $25,000. I asked local community members their thoughts on the potential raises, some saying they should see an increase in their salary. Yes, how much they work for, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? Okay. 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 Good jobs need good pay, as long as he's out there doing something. But not everyone agrees. Maria Perez says she would like to see change in the community before a raise in their pay. Pero quieren more money, they have to work more for us, for the people, because we're the one that paid them, and they don't do nothing. The money would be coming from the already operating budget and would be able to absorb the increase in wages. Early voting has already started, and you have now until Election Day on November 5th to cast your ballot. Reporting in Yuma, Varela Rodriguez, News 11.